These 3D printed speakers were designed and printed using digital material technologies on an object. Right, so basically you put in two different cartridges of material and it can mix them various ways so you can get a whole spectrum from really, really flexible to really rigid, um, different optical properties. We looked at this and we said we have a clear material here, let's see what happens when we put a light in it. So we took this flashlight right here and put that in there and went, wow, that's really cool. So then we were having lunch with um, our buddies at LumaGeek and they said, we showed this to them and they said, let's light this up, let's do this. All right, so I brought down some of the LumaGeek development kit. And uh, what we do at LumaGeek is we have this sort of development tool kit and go directly from our cell phone into this little mobile rig. And next thing you know, we decided to start coiling up some strip and stuffing it inside. And you can see that you just, you don't get a one for one sort of mapping to the addressable pixels, but you get something that's much more artistic and beautiful and there's a little bit of diffusion and color blending. So this is a new kind of LED strip? Yes, this is a high density addressable LED strip that actually, if you look really closely on the strip, you'll see that every LED has a very, very tiny microprocessor in it. And it wouldn't have to be just in a speaker. You could, you could stick this all kinds of places where it would respond to ambient noise or directly via an audio in. Absolutely. So you could do a line in, you could throw this in your car, you could throw this in your bike out at Burning Man, you could uh, wrap yourself up in this for Halloween. So these are not just really pretty speakers. They're 3D printed, they've got an addressable LED strip in there, but you can't get them. So that's why LumaGeek has this shield. It lets you easily control an LED strip of your own, so you can use it in any kind of project and make your own.